What's up, YouTube? So, I'm going to be talking about Alberto Riveron here. Um, he is a ref in the NFL, and he was the one that made the final call in that Seattle-San Francisco 49ers game. That, uh, that stupid pass interference call at the end of the game. Um, this dude needs to go. I know that um, Roger Goodell said that he was going to evaluate the referees after the season was over, but this guy needs to go right now. This dude, he has openly said that he's not going to be obeying NFL rules. He has said that specifically. Um, he said that basically the ability to challenge a pass interference call completely contradicts what the referee's word is on the field. And I think that that's a good thing because the refs have been awful the last few years, so you need to be able to challenge. I think you should be able to challenge everything, but I might get into that later. Um, but this dude needs to go. Because let's just be honest. If... Any of you at your jobs just decided that you weren't going to do what the company you work for wanted, what would happen to you? You just decided that, oh, they passed this new rule. I'm just not going to obey it. I'm just, just fuck that. That's stupid. You're going to be fired. I mean, that's what happens at every situation. I know that they're just talking about evaluating people at the end of the year, but this dude needs to go right now. He is going to wreck the playoffs, and at the very least, do not put him on one of these referee teams in the playoffs. Do not do that. Do not let him do what he just did to San Francisco in the playoffs. Do not do that. This guy needs to go. I mean, I agree at the end of the season, the rest of the refs also need to be evaluated because this has gotten worse year after year. The blatantly terrible calls like they're worse than the replacement refs at this point they really are I, I don't know exactly what the NFL needs to do about this um, one thing that might help is if they find a way to get full time referees because right now we don't have that um they're usually only NFL referees during the NFL season. The rest of the year, a lot of these people are like bartenders, lawyers, just random shit. Um, but there are other leagues that the NFL could potentially work with. Like uh, the CFL might not want to work with the NFL, but if the XFL succeeds, you, you got the indoor football league. I know Arena, I think, collapsed again. But you do have the indoor football league. The, the, there's others that you could have full time refs for. I, I don't I don't know. It that might be able to help, but the, they gotta do something because it it's it's pulling away from the game. It's making it where the players don't matter as much. They're leaving it in the refs hands and that's that's always a problem. Ugh. But like I said, I, I, I kind of think that this whole referee thing needs to be torn down and redone because I, I think it's all terrible. But this guy, but that can all wait. This guy needs to go right now. Don't wait. Just fire him right now. Um, the, and like I said, at the very least, do not let him be a part of one of these referee teams in the playoffs because this guy is a moron. Ugh. I can't stand this dude. Look, look, just, just. Just look at his face. Didn't this guy look retarded? Those fat little cheeks, those ears that you just want to punch. Those derpy looking eyes. This dude looks retarded. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to make this video too long here. I, I, I just wanted to get my thoughts on it. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. And actually, on this video, I really want to do, I really kind of do want to see some comments because I love to hear your thoughts on 
the ref the NFL referee situation and if you have any solutions that I'm not thinking of that'd be great um so yeah so with that I'm just going to wrap it up here so uh yeah bye guys <laughs>